Hey everyone, it's me, Ger. Guess what? Update time. So, on March 3rd, I'm moving to be with my girlfriend, uh, whom some of you know is Blissey slash Jenny. She's been in several of my streams, and her and I have been doing Persona 3 together as a Let's Play on the channel. And when that happens, uh, a lot of changes are going to be coming to the channel. Don't worry, they're all positive ones. Uh, I know a lot of you are here because of my character voices like Goku, Stewie, Joe, uh, you know, Goku Black, and all these other stuff that I that I do. All these other voices and all these other voices that I do. So starting next month, the channel will be shifting gears to do those way more often. I have been really lax and not, you know, doing much of my character voices and stuff on the channel and the reasoning behind that is because I've been preparing for this move. Um, so uh, I hope to start taking this channel a lot more seriously. And by that, I mean, I want to do at least one video every day and live stream at least three times a week. Uh, you know, get a consistent schedule going for you guys and all that. What I have planned for the future, um, I'm not sure if you guys have watched, you know, my Persona 3 uh, stuff, but there's a character in there by the name of Junpei Iori. And uh, he's voiced by Vic Mignogna, just like Edward Albrecht is. And what I'm going to be doing on there is uh, something that the character within the game called it. Junpei Iori's Believe It or Don't. So I'm going to basically be telling, you know, creepy pastas, scary stories and stuff like that. So, like, if you guys have any suggestions of scary stories that you want me to read, put them down in the comments below, okay? Um, I'm also going to start doing Vegeta stuff more often. I want to do the entire Devil May Cry series, uh, and I want to do God of War 4. And I also want to do Pokemon Snap and uh, The Wolf Among Us. Now, um, most of these Vegeta uh, Let's Plays will have CL. Dark Rose, uh, whom you know, guys used to know as Chi Chi and stuff. Uh, she's going to be joining me as my co-host for most of these as Kid Trunks. So be looking forward to that. Um, for Goku Black, I don't really have much plans. If you guys have any suggestions or ideas, please let me know. But other than that, the only thing I'm really going to be doing with Goku Black is I'm still going to be continuing story time. And, uh, you know, reading poems and stuff. So I was thinking maybe... Uh, just every Sunday, story time Sundays. Those will be the like I'll have throw up uh, two videos that day, uh, if possible. You know, like again with the Goku Black stuff. So I want you guys to start suggesting things for me to read, like stories and poems and stuff. And this will coincide with the uh, June Pays a uh, Believe It or Don't thing. Uh, like I'd want to have Sundays be story time days, and you'd get two videos on Sundays. Two videos each, one from Junpei and one from Go Goku Black, reading a story and a poem, one one of each. Let's see. For Goku, um, I'm gonna be continuing DBZ Kakarot, uh, Budokai Tenkaichi Three, and there was a game that I was playing a while back on the channel called Ape Escape. So hear me out on this. I'd be playing. Basically, the concept of the game is I'd be running around with a butterfly net, <laughs> trying to catch monkeys. Just in concept, that sounds hilarious. Goku tried to catch monkeys with a butterfly net. <laughs> so when that comes out, I want you guys to look forward to that. That'll be fun. Um, and for Goku, I'm going more back to the channel roots for this. Because when the channel started out, I was playing games that just made me happy. I, again, like with Goku Black, I don't have much planned for Goku. So if you have any ideas or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. Um, for Stewie, uh, I plan to do The Last of Us in preparation for The Last of Us 2 coming out soon. Uh, I will be actually continuing from where I left off because uh, I did start that Let's Play a few years back on the channel. So I will be starting, you know, picking up where I left off. Um, I want to do the Uncharted series. Uh, I'm considering doing 
Temtem as well. I'm not sure if you guys have heard of that. It's kind of like a semi-original Pokemon thing. Uh, but uh, as far as the Uncharted series, I do have the Uncharted collection, one, two, three, and four, and uh, the one with where you play as Chloe. I have all of them, so I will be doing those as Stewie. Uh, some of you have been asking me for more uh, Star Wars of the Old Repu uh, Star Wars the Old Republic is Stewie as well, so that will also be returning. Um, I uh, also need to do Walking Dead the uh, the final season because I did do uh, Walking Dead season three on the channel, so I might as well do four as well. Uh, and again, with how I'm returning to the early days of the channel, where I was more productive on it. Anything I couldn't do as Goku got passed on to Stewie. So, reason why, the way I portray Goku, I do Xeno Goku. Like, he's a mix between manga and GT Goku. So, like, he does, he swear, he doesn't really swear. He's not a potty mouth by any means. Like, sure, I'll say damn or, you know, bastard or something like that. But, like, I can't, I, I'm a potty mouth. I really am. I have a filthy mouth. I say the word fuck a lot. And I have to censor myself as Goku. So that really limits the games I can play. Like, I can't play games that Goku as a character wouldn't understand. Like, for example, uh, just taking a uh, one of those off of The Last of Us. Like, The Last of Us is an example. I couldn't play that as Goku because he'd be thrown into a world where he'd be completely out of his element and not know what to expect or understand what is going on as a character. He would not fit in that scenario. You get what I mean? Whereas with Stewie, I do not have to censor myself. And Stewie's so versatile and I can toss him in, into any situation and be able to function perfectly fine. But with Goku, I have to limit myself because I can't you know, be myself. With Stewie, I can do that. You get what I mean? If I were to, uh, like to explain it better, Goku is the happy side of me, where Stewie is the I can say what I want, whatever I want without any filter. If that makes any sense. Uh, goofy, I'm gonna be doing more goofy stuff. Uh, I have uh, the Cage Three Let's Play going on with um, the, uh, the Mr. Bernicula, the guy who plays Sora for that. Uh, we plan to continue doing Cage 3. I'm in currently in search of a Donald, a Donald Duck. So I will eventually be opening up a casting call for that on casting call that club. I do need a Donald. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, we'd also need more games and stuff that you'd like to see Goofy and Sora play. Because we, we are totally down for that. So if you guys have any ideas and suggestions for that, by all means, please say so. Um, I also plan on doing more song covers as Goofy. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys have heard of uh, Halusa Twin, but uh, he is currently making an instrumental for me for the song Stone Cold Gentleman by Ralph Tresvant. And I will be covering that as Goofy. Uh, my girlfriend Jenny, uh, indoor Blissey, whatever you know her by, uh, wants me to do a Chris Brown song, but we haven't decided on which one yet. I'm a huge Chris Brown fan, <laughs> in case you guys didn't know that. Because, like, as an example, the uh, opening theme for my intro is, yeah, three times by Chris Brown. But I'm a huge Chris Brown fan. Um, I also wanted to do My 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 by uh, Johnny Gill. And... Uh, Mr. Manicula is also a singer, so if you, there are like any duets or anything that you would like me to do as far as song covers with him, by all means, say so. Um, for Joe Swanson, uh, I plan to continue doing Overwatch. Uh, that will be strictly limited to uh, quick play and you know arcade stuff, and every now and again, uh, you know, like workshop games and stuff like that. Uh, I'll be doing the Evil Within series. I'll continue doing it until dawn, Resident Evil 2, and when it comes out, Resident Evil 3, Arkham Asylum, and the rest of the Arkham games will also be done. Uh, in most cases, Joe will be restricted to horror games and those with it, like an investigation kind of feel to them. Uh, rare exceptions being like The Last of Us, which would be given to Stewie. Uh, essentially, like games that have a major narrative to them will be given to Stewie for the most part. Uh, Whereas Joe will get most of the horror games and stuff like that. Uh, for Edward Elric, 
and we'll be doing um over i need to for edward elric i need to uh buy another overwatch account reason why i'm going to start from the bottom and move up uh, i'm going to be doing overwatch comp and uh a lot of you guys seem to enjoy you know my shorty rants and stuff and angry ed <laughs> so in overwatch comp i'm sure some of you have watched me you know stream it every now and again and i get really pissed at incompetent teammates and people who have refused to do their jobs in the roles that they've picked so there will be a lot of ed raging in that uh, I also plan to do getting over it with, uh, getting over it with I also plan to do getting over it with Bennett Foddy, uh, the Stanley Parable, and I need to find some other things to rant about, like because I, I want to bring Shorty rants back. It's just for the most part I've been happy, <laughs> like all those Shorty rants uh, come from like dark places where I'm genuinely pissed about something. <laughs> so uh, I need to find some stuff to rant about because I do want to bring those back to the channel. Um, and Ed will also play any rage-inducing games that I can find. Again, like I said before, suggestions down below in the comments. What do you think would be a fun game for me to play as Ed? Um, for Kid Goku, uh, I don't really plan on picking back up Xenoverse 2 for him. I mean, Xenoverse 2 has run its course, guys. It really has. And... I just have no, aside from, you know, playing uh, the game every now and again, like I'm talking every once in a blue moon, insanely rare occasion, playing it with friends, you know, like my, you know, my, in my friend circle just did, you know, have a little bit of fun. I don't really have much interest in Xenoverse, guys. It's, it'd be a disservice to you guys and it'd be a disservice to me for me to continue that. I'm sorry, but I just, I can't like, it's, it just doesn't have that appeal to me anymore. I beat the game thoroughly and completely. I did all the story, all the PQs, all of it in my original Goku Let's Play. What will be the point of replaying it as Kid Goku? You get what I mean? Like, I be, I feel like that's a waste of time. Uh, but as far as what I have planned for Kid Goku, uh, Jenny suggested that I do uh, Mario RPG, which I've actually never played. So that'll be a new experience for me. Uh, Sonic 2, uh, the Pokemon games. So Goku, uh, Kid Goku will just basically be games that I used to play as a kid. Uh, again, I'm open to suggestions, but games make you guys feel, you know, nostalgic. Like, what are some games that you guys grew up with? I'd love to play them on the channel. Uh, if I can get my hands on them, or, or I'll, I can get a P.O. box, and you guys can send them to me. You get what I mean? send me these consoles and stuff like that and these games so i can play them but like again like i said for the previous you know characters leave suggestions for games you guys would like me to play as kid goku like what makes you nostalgic i want to play some nostalgic games um concerning streams i intend to move uh them exclusively over to my twitch which i will leave down below in the description uh on there i will be playing any new uh game releases that catch my interest or you know stuff that i just enjoy you know like final fantasy or something or overwatch if i'm just kind of you know just dicking around or warframe or something like that um the reason why i'm doing this is because like if i stream exclusively it, right now i'm doing using a service uh called restream to stream to both youtube and twitch and because of that, I can't really build an audience for streams because those of you that are, do show up to my streams on YouTube, you have no reason to go to Twitch. You get what I mean? And it would just be better if I built a audience for streams specifically on just one place so that all of you know to meet in one place. You get what I mean? It just makes it easier on me. It makes it easier on you. So uh, streams will be moved exclusively to Twitch. Uh, for the most part, uh, it will just be me, you know, having fun or playing whatever new game that I just came out or something I haven't played before or a game that I enjoy. Um, also guys, please understand that in streams, I am not going to be in character because streams are your opportunity to get to know me as a person. If that makes any, you get what I mean? You that's your time to spend some time with me, Gur, as a person. 
uh, I've told you guys what my name is uh, uh, previously uh, in videos. My name's Malik. <laughs> yep, Malik. That's my name. It's nice to meet you all, and I hope that you will all join me in my Twitch streams where we can get to know each other. I'd love to make some new friends. Uh, several, like, I have a Discord uh, server and all that, and if I, you know, get to know some of you, you might even get invited to my little friend circle. You know what I mean? You never know. And I, like, just Twitch is where it's a little bit more manageable and, like, a more intimate setting, if that's the right word to use. Because with the comment section, I can't really get to know any of you personally, if that makes any sense. So if you've ever wanted to be friends with me, be a regular on my Twitch streams. That's how you do it. Um, and I got to warn you guys, uh, I am very shy. I have social anxiety like a motherfucker. I have, uh, I, I struggle with meeting new people. I really do. Uh, so if during my streams, you see that I'm quiet and I'm not saying anything, for the most part, it is just going to be the sound of whatever game that I'm playing at the time or whatever music I'm listening to at the time that is making noise within the stream unless I'm with some friends or something because I I, I don't like to talk. I really don't. I'm a very quiet person by nature. Like, sure, if you guys say something in the chat, sure, I'll respond to you and everything as best I can. But like, for the most part, I'm going to be quiet because that's just how I am by nature. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, scheduling for all of these things uh, will be sorted out. Like, as, you know, as far as sorted out, bleh, I can't talk today. Uh, all these things will be like, they'll be sorted out and put on sp like specific days for each thing. Like, you know, Goku on Mondays or something like that. Stewie on Tuesdays. I, I don't know yet. Well, it it'll be figured out. Uh, but again, these changes are expected to go into month. Uh, again, these changes are expected to go into practice starting next month. Uh, I hope all of you stick with me throughout all this, and I hope that you'll support me in this undertaking. Uh, I love making videos. It'd be a dream come true to be able to do this full time and not have to worry about getting an extra job to make ends meet, you know, because like living uh, wages, they can be pretty high sometimes. Like, you know, electric bills, paying for internet, you know, food, electricity, rent. Like, because otherwise I'm having to, all this stuff is coming out of my pocket. So like for me to be able to, do, uh, I don't mean to like, I don't mean to guilt trip anybody. So please don't think that. Please, 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 please do not think that. I love making videos. Uh, and if I have to get a job that hinders that, then I can't spend the time to devote making videos and streaming and stuff like that. You get what I mean? Like if I'm working a eight hour uh, a day, you know, five day a week, five, uh, five day a week job, then like, that's time I'm not recording videos and making content for you guys. Um, and see, that's where you guys come in. Spread my videos around, uh, even if you yourself aren't interested in, you know, the particular character that a Let's Play is about at the time. It's just that word of mouth and stuff helps. Uh, you know, just show up to my live streams. Come and chill with me. You know, I, I think I'm a pretty chill person. I, I get along with pretty much everyone. Uh, <laughs> support my Patreon, uh, which, like my Twitch that I mentioned before, where all my streams will be starting uh, next month. Um, my Patreon that will be down in this, uh, th that will be down in the description of this video. Because um, again, I I wish I could do this full time. That would be friggin' amazing. I'd love to be able to do. Because like. Again, I enjoy making videos and stuff. I really do. It's fun and it makes me happy. And nothing would suck more than to having to than having to give that up to work a job just to make ends meet. You get what I mean? I want to be able to do this full time and I need you guys' help for that. Um, and one last thing, uh, and one last thing before I stop all my ramblings and, you know, holding you guys here. Got to plug three things. Uh my Dragon Ball Super Abridged series, known as Dragon Ball Super. Uh, with Team Four Star, I don't mean to, you know, take over for Team Four Star or anything, but like, they've stopped. 
they said they're never returning to team uh four star you know they're not doing uh dragon ball uh z abridged anymore so the market for a dragon ball abridged series is wide the hell open uh and i you guys have seen some of my writing you remember jackass goku that's that's an example of my writing I know I'm a good writer. Several of you are here because you, I am, I I don't mean to toot my own horn, but I am a funny guy. I like making people laugh. And I think that a lot of you would enjoy if I were to have a popular Dragon Ball Super Rich series. And who knows, maybe I may go back and do uh, the original Dragon Ball or GT or something. Or pick up at uh, at the Boo Saga where Team Four Star left off or something like that. But, like, I want to start doing Dragon Ball Super, uh, Dragon Ball Stuper, rather, a bridge. And uh, as far as that, um, I'm going to need someone to help me edit that. I'm looking for experienced editors that use either Adobe Premiere or something similar. Because as as it stands at the moment i have three editors myself and two others shiny umbreon uh who i've had on the channel in uh in live streams in the past several times and lily uh whom you some of you may know is uh android 21 from back in the day uh between the three of us we can't really get it done reason why for me i absolutely hate lip flapping lip lip flapping i can't talk Uh, i absolutely hate it it's a long and tedious process i hate it i don't have the patience for it that's kind of part of the reason why i stopped making jackass episodes is because like i was trying to do about one of them a month and i was doing it by myself and it was just too much work i couldn't do it uh but with lily and shiny they both have jobs both are going to school both have are in relationships and have family issues and stuff like that not not necessarily issues but you get what i mean like they have family and all that and they can't exactly devote the time that's needed to it so if i were to hire on an editor i need somebody that knows what they're doing can get the job done because i want to i want to start pumping out one dragon ball stupor episode a month and I think that's doable. Reason I say that, because um, take, for example, South Park. Uh, to my knowledge, South Park is made by 11 people. That's it. And it takes them six days to make an episode. Do you, do you guys understand and comprehend how crazy that is? That's how they stay so relevant and uh, up to date with their stuff. It takes them six days to make an episode. That's it. 11 people. There's no reason that a team of, you know, editors and writers and directors and voice actors couldn't come together and make one episode a month. I don't think that's too hard of a concept to understand and too hard of a concept to achieve. So if you guys have uh, any editing experience in terms of lip flapping and masking and uh, any experience with special effects for, you know, stuff like Adobe After Effects and Photoshop, Drop uh, some links to your work down below in the comments, and I would love to see it. Um, let's see. Uh, moving on, um, My Hero Academia Bridge, uh, made by Lily, who I mentioned before. Uh, I'm the writer and co-director of that one, and uh, currently, to my knowledge, she's editing that. So because she's editing that, she can't exactly devote all any spare times that she does get. She has to, you know, spend you know, editing her own series. So she can't exactly focus on mine. I I can't put that type of pressure on her. That's not fair to her. You get what I mean? And, um, but if you guys could support that and just let her know that she's doing an amazing job and just support her. Uh, next, uh, Blissey slash Jenny, uh, my wonderful girlfriend. Um, you guys knew this was coming. Uh, (laughs) She's also starting to get into streaming and YouTubing and stuff like that. And because I'm going to be moving in with her pretty soon, supporting her also directly supports me as well. So go and show her some love and tell her that I sent you. I'll leave a link to her channel and stuff down below. Uh, 
And that's pretty much all I've got for you guys today. Um, again, I'm still trying to get ready for the move. Uh, March 3rd is when I leave. Um, I already have my clothes packed and stuff like that. And by now, it's just cleaning up and making sure I have all my ducks in order. I have the money I need. I need it. Uh, like on my uh, streams, I have a donation goal for the for around 500 bucks. So far, nobody's donated a dime to it. I don't mean once again. I please. I do not mean to guilt trip. Uh, I do have my ticket paid for, uh, and I should be getting paid from YouTube by the end of the month. And I should have more than enough to cover everything. Uh, as far as like, because I have a cat named Sophie and, uh, she absolutely cannot be left here. Uh, because you know, that cat loves me. I'm sure some of you have seen her on streams and stuff. I have to bring my cat with her, with me. And, uh, she, it's going to cost her, well, more specifically me, it's going to cost a hundred dollars plus something in tax or whatever to just get my cat there to Florida with me. So just in case, and then I, just in case I can't, for whatever reason, come up with that money, I'm relying on you guys to help me there. Cause like, I'm going to need, uh, you know, travel expenses, paying for an Uber there and back, uh, you know, food, you know, so I'm not starving for the eight or uh, eight or so hour flight. You get what I mean? Like, I'm going to need you guys' help for that because currently, because of the fact that I knew I was moving, I did not bother to look for a job during this last month that I was here because it would have made no sense to. So currently, you guys are my only source of income. I'm begging for your help. I know it's it, it sounds, you know, possibly selfish of me, but yeah, I need you guys' help. Let, your support is what I want to do. Like, I want to be able to do the streaming and YouTube and stuff for full time because I enjoy it. I hope you guys enjoy it and your support. Like even if it's just watching the video, that's all I ask of you because I get paid from YouTube. Uh, I think it's like a hundred, a dollar 50 per thousand views or something like that. So just watching my videos is more than enough support. So if you guys can at least do that, that would go a long way. Um, that's pretty much all I have for you guys. I love you. Thank you for the support you've given me thus far. And I hope you guys enjoy what I have planned and drop some suggestions of what you'd like to see on the channel. And damn it, watch my videos more, man. Like subscribers have nothing to do with it. It's views that matter. And uh, I hate to say it, but my views have been on the uh, low side, you know? For my channel size, guys, you gotta step it up. I, I understand that um, YouTube uh, doesn't really have a you know working algorithm system, and <laughs> they don't really have a working notification system either. But still, guys, please, 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 uh, even if it's just telling somebody else about my videos, it's gotta happen, guys, because I can't do this without you. You guys are the backbone of this channel, and I need your support. Thank you. I love you. And I'll see you guys in my next video or live stream. Bye.